Traditional thing, it should have a decent place in Scottish history. But now it's turned away from island dancing to acrobatic. And all this business of uh, splits in midair and how high can I jump, you're not hurdling. It's, it's not a happy life being a island dancer nowadays. Really important in my life. Out of 100, it's probably about 90% of my life. Place it, place it, place it, place it. Like you don't have much life apart from Highland dancing. My social life is basically all revolving around Highland dancing people because that's about all I do. I guess a lot of kids my age don't really have a focus. Um, they don't really know what they want to do at this point, but I do, you know, I have goals in my life. What is your goal then? Um, to win the world, because <laughs> it's the ultimate thing you can do in dancing. Um, the farthest you can go, the best you can do. I mean, this is the goal. She said she would come back every year until it happens. Everything's a stepping stone to this weekend. This is the ultimate. There's nothing, there's nothing higher that you can do than win at Cowell. You know, what else is there? And the 1995 World Juvenile Champion is number okay, ready? Two, three, go. Elevate, turn in, lift. Body to corner. Now I'm practicing in the morning, having practices with my mum and having lessons now. Plus, you don't really get to go out and play as much as everybody else. Head up. A couple of years ago, I tried counting them all with one of my friends and got to 600 and just didn't bother counting anymore because I'm fed up. And uh, make a lot of money. Two, three, four. Come on, up on your toes, Tony. Up, come on, up. I feel under a tremendous amount of pressure trying to keep Tony where he is. Because he's had a very, very good year in championships and I know what he's capable of. Some people may think it's a bit sissy for boys, but they just say, look at my bank account. <laughs> You know, children who do Highland dancing, they have to put in hours and hours and hours of work, but there's really not that many people have the guts really to keep going and doing that. Out of all the people that dance, many, many give up about the age of 12, 13. We adopted Tony and Nicola um, in the May and went on holiday to Canada in the June. Um, and that was when we went to Highland Games with the pupils, so I hadn't really had much opportunity to think about the kids dancing. We'd only had them four weeks, and he started to jump around at the Highland Games, and people were asking why he hadn't danced, but they were people who didn't know that they were adopted, and we'd only had them a few weeks. So when we came home, I sort of looked at his feet and thought, well, I'll give it a try. Tony's not good at practice on his own, so I put in the time and the effort to do that, I suppose.
every Saturday and Sunday and sometimes weekdays in summer we go to the Highland Games. A lot of girls in Canada like him. Tony's not really interested, but he speaks to the girls at competitions, but that's all. I like one person and I'm not seen. It's William and the Pipe Band. I think everybody is aiming towards the end of August when it's Cowell and that's the World Championships. It's more of a worry when August arrives because we don't know what we're going to be facing from the overseas dancers. Your dad, um, catch our effect in the weather? Yeah. It's been sunny all week and sunny day. You're just right. It looks like I'm clear up. Colleen's been the Canadian champion for seven years, so this is the next step for her. As long as she wants to do it and we can afford to do it, then we'll do it. I think a lot of dancers that come here come for a holiday, but for me, the dancing is the main part, so I'm really serious about it. I like everything here except the weather. Colleen, do you know where you're staying? Somewhere over there. Okay. Okay. Now let's hope and pray that it rains today and we're going to fear it. It's so nice tomorrow. We don't want to dance in the rain. <laughs> I once heard that there was more registered Highland dancers in Ontario than there was in Scotland. When you move to another country, you want to keep your tradition up. Everybody that's in it has some kind of Scottish background. Tony's 12 years old this year and this is the first year he has a chance to qualify and in the world if he makes it he'll be up against children like Colin and Tamaki who's Canada's probably top dancer and they've got obviously a lot more experience because they've been in the world for a few years already. Third position, pulling up, nice straight back. Out and out, out and out. Think of the way your shuffles are going to be for tomorrow. We don't remember when now. I was four, just going out of five, I saw a girl at a birthday party dancing, and I thought it looked really interesting and neat, so I started. you got to hold that, Cynthia. That's where you're too fast. Your head. Shake, shake, shake. Pull. Well, I practiced twice a week for an hour with joy. Seven and eight. And then every night on my own in my dance room downstairs. And stretch. Yeah, I'm really picky on getting something perfectly in spot, you know, if Joy tells me to work on something, then I'll work on that for, for a long time until it's just perfect, just right. It's too much. I mean, you're supposed to dance for enjoyment, but the kids go on now and they dance and it's a case of it's all perfection all the time. Well, I love perfection, but let's enjoy it. Ready, two, three, go. Very nervous, very, very nervous actually. Hoping he does well, hoping the rain goes off, most of all. Never want a repeat of Lance's cheer at all, because it's, it's not good. They should be eating fast actually, I believe that's the end thing now. I stick to roast beef, hope it does the trick. Well, this is our traditional spaghetti dinner the night before our competition. We started this when Colleen started competing, and we've done it every competition since. I feel, that's only me personally, there's a lot of pressure on the kids now that I didn't feel there was, like when Linda danced, but certainly a lot of pressure now, more uh, overseas coming across. I know she's a definite contender, and I think it must be nice to grow up knowing that you're good at something, and that you could be the best in the world at something. And I think it must be nice to go to bed at night and have that feeling. Well, being a mother, I get more nervous than the children do. Tony worries me because he doesn't show any nerves and that panics me a little bit because I know how I'm feeling inside and think he should be feeling the same. 
Everybody be in their bed at nine o'clock, don't you? Everybody else will be in their bed at nine o'clock. You're the one that I had cake. The heads are on it like that one. They ate it the night before. And the one. I'm kind of anxious right now, you know, waiting for tomorrow. I just want it to come see if I can do it good enough and stuff. <laughs> so I'm just anxious right now. Yeah. The Kayleys are every bit as good, yes. <laughs> every bit as good. You're lucky enough to be asked up, but... Did <laughs> school well? No, no, I didn't get judged, hopefully. <laughs> This is it. This is my dancing. This is definitely it. I am in this world to watch, but I love this. Really do enjoy it. Especially my handsome men like this. That right. That right, my Grand's a bit of a party animal. Nice day. Typical cow. You can't plan anything. You can't plan a thing. You know what's going on? Yeah, honey, she's down there. Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a, a nice wet towel. Hope you're all going to stay dry today. I think the way the weather's looking, hopefully we wouldn't need to go in. We really want to stay out here as much as possible, but um, if it gets too bad, then we're obviously going to have to move into the Queen's Hall. As a last resort, look at the Queen's Hall. Uh, simply because you can't get through the dancing as quick either. With the, with the four boat, with the double platform here and the two down the bottom, they can get through the dancing a lot quicker up here. There shouldn't be any problem. It's still at the moment and uh, it's going to get brighter as the day goes on. Simple as that. Well, I can't go on the boards and practice because it sucks for any I just went to sleep out. Are you feeling nervous? No. I was tiny feeling this morning. I think a little nervous. And how are you this morning? He said, I need a bath. <laughs> Pretty nervous today. <laughs> yeah, the children are both dancing in different places and with the rain and we really scared that the kids trip and fall because the boards are pretty slippy. The kids haven't had a chance to warm up properly because of all the mud. And, and so it's the first day I've never done anything with Tony before he's ever danced, so <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen up there in a few minutes' time. Starting off, as always, with our best friend dancing competition. Can we have a dance? I'm thinking your outfit now must cost around about three, four hundred pounds, and some of the children are getting a new one every year. Dancing shoes probably are about between 15 and 20 pounds, and I need a pair of these every maybe six or eight weeks. I think it's the wettest dress this morning. I need to get that to you. Fifth and sixth. Leave the platform, please, thanks. Sorry. Um, we're obviously going to have to abandon ship and go down to the Queen's Hall. They're setting up the Queen's Hall at the moment. They're trying to arrange for a couple of double-decker buses to come up and pick everybody up to take down to the Queen's Hall. We haven't made an announcement yet, but it's just a matter of time. We'll get you on this bus. We've got to get the officials on first, folks. All right? All right, yeah. Oh, I send them down. Jeez. Oh, what a nod carrying. Oh, very disappointing. We rebuild them for two weeks. We're two weeks building these. Then they don't use them. Pretty disappointing. Uh, excuse me, no offensive weapons in my bus, please. No offensive weapons? No. <laughs> 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 I hope to hide this offensive <laughs> weapon here. This is for it. To help with the, um, the health of our officials. We'll get help some papers to play with. <laughs> Go into 
that warming up in the changing room and just coming. You agreed with me then you didn't go. Lift that arm, Gina. Keep the second forward. Forward. No, that was back. Do, do that rock again and bring the second up. Okay, you've got the right side of the Dancing in front of a large audience is always a bit nerve-wracking. People just get overwhelmed by the whole atmosphere, I guess. Some people have actually been sick this morning. You see a lot of people who feel really faint um, after you're dancing. When you dance, you tend to forget to breathe because you're trying to think of so many things at the same time. You forget to breathe and, you know, you just feel really weak. She got through her whole dance and then just as she bowed she had to run because she threw up all over and then they had to wait for they had to wait to clean it up before the next lot could go on so she's totally embarrassed. I landed from a leap and heard this bang and I didn't know if it was myself or the floor. So I went to carry on the dance and stepped back and there was no tendon there to hold me up and I realised it was myself. So I can't dance. Are you disappointed? Yeah I am. Yeah. So I don't know if I'll ever dance competitively again. It's worrying. The parents are out for how many medals has Jeannie got? Or she's got three more than me and all the rest of it. I remember once at Cow, the mother had an umbrella and she started thrashing the boy <laughs> because he didn't win a prize. That doesn't make a dancer. The overseas dancers seem to beam out of the project better. They're always smiling. The Scottish dancers are a little more reserved. Yeah. I think that's just the nature more than anything. We, we tend not always to be smiling as much as some other nations. And Canadians, for example, used to come over and big smiles, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and it used to sometimes annoy us. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> We've checked out the weather. The weather well, would appear to be OK later on. And I'm pleased to say that we will be taking the World Championship final by our <laughs> Any girls you like around here yet? Nothing. I'm not into girls. Well, that's cute all, isn't it? <laughs> Why but they're all like, oh, he's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> they're just looking at TV cameras and videos. Okay. 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 Well, it was a little bit hectic going from Queen's Hall to here and stuff, but I mean, I'm glad we ended up dancing outside because the atmosphere is so much nicer. You feel for them, because all you, you know what, how hard they've worked all year long. And then all you want them to do is they have, you know, two and a half minutes to come through on the platform. And you just hope that they do it, you know? Yeah, you right. Place it, place it, place it, place it. Probably Tony's in here with a shout. Because she's a taller and has longer legs, she looks more elegant up there than Tony does as a boy. And I'm more critical because he's mine, you know? They'll, they're probably just as worried about him as I am about them, you know? So. I can kind of see when she's up there starting, getting ready to dance, she, she moves around a little bit. I know she's feeling nervous. Well, usually I find my mum. I like to see where my mum is at the beginning. And once I see her, then I'm okay, and then I just look at the judges to make sure that they are got my number and everything, and then just look up into the sky and block everything out. When I'm watching Colleen dance, I like to be on my own. I don't like to stand beside anybody because 
I don't like to be distracted. Excuse me, you like to sit down because you're okay. blocking the view for a Okay, minute. that's right. just my daughter that's dancing oh, okay. and I can't right. see down there. I'll, I'll sit right down. Right. It's a world championship. There's four dancers. There's the Pillin Flying Club dance. Sean True is instruct play in real. And although we'll actually get individual prizes here, it's just accumulation of all these dances, which will give you a winner at the end of the day. Tony Allen, keep them up. Come on, Tony, use your head. Tony, come on, get your heels around. Arms up. Head, come on, use your head. Keep your back up straight. Tony Allen. The Highland Fling is uh, the dance that's supposed to represent the sure-footedness of the stag on the hills. Now think of the deer horn. You know, they're both stuck up in the air. Well, I think I looked as if Mum didn't like it. She's pushing me off. I'm probably can be too critical of my own and can be quite negative so it's very difficult to keep pushing and pushing and pushing but I know what all the other competitors are capable of doing as well and just want Tony to be up there with them and do it along with them. You didn't snap out about the first step and you know that. You're lost to never win Never. So you know, don't you? So that was your dad. You didn't wore him up with me and you didn't push when you were up there except the elevation. That's all you pushed. You didn't even try to hold your legs out, did you? Did you? No, you weren't. So it's hard to watch because it's almost like you're doing it. You know if they hit the sword, they're disqualified. And you're just thinking, you know, just get through it, just get through it. The dancers quite often can hide their nerves, but mums, they probably sit biting their nails in the back, especially at the sword dance. I go to the tea tent. I don't watch anybody's swords, ever. They came off the swords and said to me, how did I dance? I would just say fine because I didn't see them. My eyes just focus on to the sword and that's it. I don't move. You get jelly legs and butterflies in your belly. Doing the sword dance and one of the, a foreign dancer went right through the boards up to their waist next to me. And unfortunately they, could, they couldn't pull out the boards until the dance was over. Um, but uh, that doesn't happen too often. <laughs> what happened there? Well, the dancers fell on her backside. I can't believe she did that. Like, and I'm actually looking over here, and the next thing I knew, she was on her backside. So, I, I guess when I see the video, I'll see what happened, you know? Great and skill are required for Highland dancing. I remember Bobby Cuthbertson. He used to dance, and when he got to the quick time in the sword dance, he used to let out a little yelp, and he would clap his hands, and take his bonnet off, and like like a whip all the time and got the first prize. If you did that now, no. We've got to have everything combined. Body deportment, elevation, lovely feet. Knowledge of dance, technique. Underneath the technique there's the discipline. The feet, the arms, the head. But overall it's the whole thing. Dress, the whole work. They've got to wear navy blue pants because they're not allowed to wear any frills as the mother sometimes used to put the children out and their pants were all different coloured frills and lace and everything else and I don't think the male judges appreciated that so they put the regulation in they must wear navy blue pants now for everyone. It's very elegant and, and royal and traditional there's nothing cheap about it they look, they look wonderful The Sheen Trues, way back at the time of the Jacobite Rebellion, about 1745, the Scots were forbidden to wear a kilt. And you get this action and oh one, and that is 
trying to shake the trues off because you like the freedom of the kilt. And real. The Canadian girls do smile. I think we go for more of a relaxed look, trying to get the whole appearance. Joy's always been stressing it since I was younger, you know, try and look more relaxed and smile and stuff, but it took me years to get it. <laughs> you know, I'd go up on stage, smile, and as soon as I started dancing, it was just like gone. Now I can do it, you know. I hate smiling because it puts me off. It's just dead dumb and I'm always getting told to smile. It puts me off. Somebody's collapsed on the board. Come on, Tony Dan. What happened? Uh, she's still here? Yeah, she, she stopped and then she started dancing and then she was And she, like, she fainted? Yes. Gone. No, 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 no. I've never seen this happen before. Well, it's most unusual, believe me. I've never known it happened before. Something strange always happens with Carol. They girl tried to carry on for the benefit of all the other dancers who were dancing with her at the time and, and virtually blacked out on the spot, uh, just a lack of oxygen. I think he feels he's danced well. Pretty probably has. I'm just his mother and his teacher and I'm never happy. <laughs> um, I'm excited, kind of anxious to get on with the awards. We will be presenting the trophies for all the winners in just a few moments' time. Thank you. Lovely trophy. And your medals try and cheer up. Remember, make a picture of you. Come on. Well done. In order to do well, you have to have what all the judges are looking for. Some like strength, some like the neatness and the tightness. You have to have everything if you want to do well. Once again in reverse order. Six, number 492. Did I get a fifth, Mum? Yeah. Fifth. I'm nervous. <laughs> you don't like when I do your new reverser. Nervous? Well, kind of. My hands are shaking. <laughs> I'm just hoping she's the last number. In fifth place in the Juvenile World Championship is number 453. Tony Cargill. Bad at 12, eh? <laughs> 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 speak for us. <laughs> oh, you can. He's experienced. The best he's ever done. And the 1995 World Juvenile Champion is number 419, Colin Rinkamaki from Ontario in Canada. I mean, we can go both, both go to bed tonight and think, my God, my daughter's a world champion. So what are you going to do tonight, Tony? Party. Party. <laughs> Definitely get a cider tonight, eh? Oh, we're not supposed to say that. <laughs>